What's good, everybody? This is Queen Common Sense coming back to you from the Chi Town remix to the motherfucking sticks. Now I was, I'm, I'm just really confused. Um, I, I'm not understanding why so many women are still being duped by these manipulators and narcissistic people. Basically, these men out here who are completely self-absorbed, dusty, broke grifters, and instead of banding together and unifying as women, we want to compete to see who can top the previous wife or girlfriend. Well, I got them now, and I'm different, so this can't possibly happen to me type of energy and um, obviously ladies that's exactly what they want they want us fighting over them so they can be distracted to further continue to spin the yarn of lies the web of deceit to further create false gain fake narratives to blow glitter dust and smoking fairy dust in our faces and, and keep us drunk with their lies and gaslighting. The reason why I'm confused is because there's so many of them being exposed now. More and more women are starting to drop the shame of being embarrassed and humiliated and starting to speak out more and more y'all thought I was damn crazy about 10 15 years ago 2009 when I came out on the scene talk about narcissistic gaslighting and how your mama your daddy your husband your brother your friends your friend girls and your guy friends will do it have done it can do it and you ain't no different I was crazy I was a hater I was an old hag and all of that. But now, fast forward 10 years, 10, 11 years, it's a mass expose of so many people in the spotlight and not in the spotlight of fame who are exposing, being exposed to, and understanding now that they have been sleeping with the enemy, the devil, Legion, Leviathan, all of them all mixed in one. Now, if we rewind with Miss Portia Williams, for starters, let's rewind about a year or so ago uh, with, with Miss Portia and how she uh, wanted to play in the face of her friend, Miss Valentina, who was also married to Simon. And Phelan did a two-hour interview with a, a lovely uh, sister, Tisa Tells, and basically, you know, shared some very, very clear red flags that she missed in marrying this man without knowing exactly who he was and is now let's go back and, and, and do a, a quick little flashback in time and I'm going to share a little bit of audio with y'all so you can see the writing on the wall like I did back then and I was like okay now she done put it out there but like most hot and thoughts do Portia gave Fallon the middle finger she didn't care that the divorce was not completely final. She didn't care that that was supposed to be her friend, allegedly. All she wanted was the glitz, the glam, the bunny, and the soft life to be whisked away, swept off her feet, in spite of her baby daddy, Dennis, who she called off the wedding with prior to getting with Simon, because he also was a cheater. And that's, that's another thing I'm getting back to, you know, with a lot of people, you know, in, in that in that area, the Atlanta area, the metropolitan Atlanta area, you know, back way back there in the early 
80s, mid 80s, uh, early 90s, that it was growing into be the black Mecca or the new black Hollywood or of sorts, if you will, you know, the the the, the second spinoff of Freak Neek area type of hood boogery, flashery and 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 side chicory and all kind of other debauchery that, you know, sadly, so many of us Black people have an art form in being as ghetto and tacky and ruthless and uh, clandestine as, as we possibly, we have an art form. We have a special art form talent of, of just being as ratchet and tacky as any other culture of people. And it's, it's, I've been saying this forever. Now I'm considered an elder and I talk to young ladies as much as I can who want to listen and want to learn the game uh, because it is a lot you have to pay attention to. You have to continue to be vigilant in discovery of these niggas who claim that they got, you know, they got it popping, you know, and, and they got the bling bling and the, and the coin. And we are afraid to do any little dig and impress these niggas because that we don't want to chase them off. But you're not understanding that that's a good thing. You know, if you can chase them off with, with, with questions to vet them and their character, then he's not meant for you. And a lot more women are starting to understand that their peace and mental health and, and emotional well-being and the safety of their children if you're a mother is far superseding a priority than having a half-assed, grifting, leeching, lion-ass legion of a man laying around fronting like he's a provider and he's really a criminal. And we're harboring and protecting these niggas. Okay, so let's let's go to the little short piece of video clip that I had uh, pulled up with uh, Miss Tisa. Okay. And uh, Fallon's interview. Right. And it's just going to be a short little tape. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about it. And how Portia missed the bl she She purposely ignored the, the glaring red flags and information from the previous wife regarding signs. Okay. Check this out, y'all. Simon worked from home, went to the office in the home. Um, when he's working, even when he's in the house, he's not really in the house. He's mentally checked out. Like he's not, he's not there. Um, He'd get up at 7 a.m. and he'd finish around 7 p.m. Um, and then um, after after work, we would go out and drink. I'm, that's another big thing, reason why I realized I had to leave. Um, I drank a lot in that marriage because he loved to drink and drinking was his thing. Partying was his thing. And um, it got to a point where I was drinking a lot too. Um, almost every day I was drinking. And the second I decided to leave, um, I remember asking my assistant, I said, why, am I, why don't I drink so much anymore? And she said, because you're happy. And that's when it clicked for me again. Yeah, it's time for me to go. <laughs> I'm glad that you definitely found um, how and see this is why I think a part of the reason why Portia overlooked these red flags she's a party girl Portia has always been a pass around party girl a hot and thought she don't care who man she mess with you know she she she's a dingbat of sorts and she's a she's a pass around uh when she was married to her first husband, Cordell, that was the whole thing. Um, it's been said allegedly that she was a beard and uh, Cordell is allegedly into, you know, the 
the uh, other side of the fence. He likes to swim in the boy pond, allegedly. And, I mean, who wouldn't want to marry a, a, a ex pro athlete? That's what that's what the groupie phase era was back when I was in high school. We would, they called them groupies back then, which emerged into hoochies, emerged into you know, thoughts and all uh, you know all that. So, this is nothing new. Okay, recycle the the same behavior and put a slap a new label on it. It's the same thing, you know. Happiness, like definitely, and actually, I mean, it seems so real. But we all get in relationships where we double guess each other. It seems so real that you're with somebody for five years and you see them going into a room, they maybe take phone calls, but you don't actually know what they do. The business is kind of always a mystery, but you know, and you hear people say stuff up and down, but at the same time, there's all these problems. Yeah, it seems like a really complicated situation, and especially if it had you drinking so much. And you said Simon's a very heavy drinker, so yeah, I guess it was just stress all around. Um, yeah. Do you think that in the filming he started to change? Maybe he started to enjoy your celebrity a lot. Maybe started enjoying. You said he likes to party a lot. He took a lot of pride in having um, a wife that was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do you think that was the situation? No, I think he hated it. <laughs> I think, um, I think, you know, I, I'll give you, an, I'll give you an example. I told him, you know, I don't know how to make a, a Wikipedia or am I supposed to do it? Does Google do it? I don't know how any of this stuff works. Um, so I told him, you know, he had hired me a publicist and things like that, you know, things that are necessary. Um, she wasn't really getting me anywhere. She wasn't doing much, but she came through him. So that was weird, you know, that she's hired and he's paying her. But she wasn't doing much. Notice he said, she said that Simon was paying this so-called publicist, right? The publicist wasn't doing much, right? And she didn't know how this whole thing works with being on reality TV, how to handle herself, how to create her own bio and all that. And this is another thing that, you know, gets you jacked up every time is you delving into these industries and show business in the entertainment industry and you don't do your research and you don't understand how it works to have a publicist, have a manager, you know, have, have, have your staff in place who are also vetted and who have proven experience in the industry. Now, I, not to say that Portia doesn't know, but it seemed to me like she was uh, just kind of, you know, slid in underneath the back door with her hat on because of what we call pretty privilege. Uh, she knew the right people. She knew how to network. She was a groupie. She knew where to be, when to be, uh, where to be, with who's who. And that's how she got linked up with Cordell which gave her a segue to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then she had a spinoff um, of her own little show after she took Fallon's husband from her and slept with him and seduced him. And uh, she had that spinoff of her wedding and she began to ride the coattails of a scammer. Let's go. Um, and then he said that, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to get you a Wikipedia done and I'm working on it now. I kept saying, I'm working on, I'm working on it. And then he's like, oh, I made a Wikipedia and he made himself one. He wasn't even on the show <laughs> like that. Like it's just incidents like, like, like that, you know, things like that, that I was going through with him. It's like, then he was trying to get verified through Instagram after I was a verified. It was just like things that I didn't really look for. I didn't know what, what came with it all, but he was ready for it all. Like he had this whole thing <laughs> out for himself and he was ready. So, um, yeah, no, when it, when all of the attention came onto me and not him, I feel honestly, I feel like, yeah, he hated it. 
That's just my opinion. So, so I understand what you're saying, right? So there you go. Uh, this woman, she was married to him. She slept in bed with him every night. She did uh, what she had to do on the reality show, and he didn't like the attention being all on her. And as we see throughout time, we see Mel Melody Cherie, her ex-husband didn't like the attention all on her, still doesn't. We almost four years into their divorce, and he is still trying to steal her thunder. He is still trying to, you know, hijack her shine. He is still trying to ride the fence and tiptoe on both sides in her face, playing around in her face like he wants her back and he's so remorseful. But behind the scenes, like she said, he's an agent of chaos, just like Risa Tisa. You know, we saw this emerge with who the F did I marry? She went in thinking that she had a partner, uh, someone that she could build a life with, you know, honestly, innocently, genuinely wanting to just have a beautiful family, a comfortable life in a nice home where they could build uh, together and, 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 and do life together, you know, whatever comes their way. It, it's, it's different variations of how we get linked up to these grifting, manipulative, monstrous, dusty, useless niggas. They're desperate, just like a lot of women are desperate to have Someone just to come home to, someone who kind of gets it, someone where you fit with. But the key thing that we are missing is, number one, listen to somebody who's been through it. And people used to always say back when I was in my early 20s dating and stuff like that, you see baby mama drama, you know, you see the ex-girlfriend getting jealous because the guy moved on. And then when you dig a little deeper down into that fucking story, it's not so much as the ex-girlfriend is jealous. It's that her man was cheating on her with the new girlfriend and things fell apart because the guy got caught. Okay. He got caught. That's why she is upset because he either left owing her money, has a child or children together that he's no longer taking care of because of the new girlfriend and he's making excuses to take care of her or her children that don't belong to him instead of his own and so on. We all know the whole scoop, right? So here it is, right here on, on, on social media, all over the place. This, this video that Tisa Tells did, um, she's, she's a really awesome YouTuber here. She has 318 thousand subscribers this video alone has 5.8 thousand views on it okay confirmed simon is fake but did portia give a damn no she did she wanted what she wanted when she wanted it and now she's facing the karma of what she did to hijack a relationship with somebody who she thought was rich and powerful and could uh, drive her career to, to famous. And then as you, as we all know, you know, as soon as Portia got married to Simon, she left the show, a real housewife, left the show. You hear it right here. His former wife said, I think Simon hated being on the show because the attention was not all on him. It was all on Sally. So, ladies, let this be a lesson. You know, when that ex-girlfriend or ex-wife has something to say to you, it's not always to, to jeer at you like coleslaw. Sometimes that ex-wife can give you some information that you need to know to help protect you. All women are not girls. Girls know they're not because we see what damn coleslaw has done far too long. And she's no longer getting away with that bullshit that she's doing. That I do not agree with. If you want to reach out to the current woman, wife, girlfriend to hurt, harm, tease, torment, and torture her, then you deserve everything you get. And sometimes, you know, what you get ain't quite good enough of a punishment or karma for doing that. 
that is deplorable, despicable, and disgusting. However, if you can lend some insightful information as the ex or the former person that this man is connected to and say, hey, look, can't tell you what to do, sis, but the reason why we got a divorce is, hey, this is the reason why we divorce. You don't want that to happen to you. We need to stop thinking that these men differentiate between women. They do the same thing to every woman that they come across. It might take a little longer for some to drop their mask. It might take a little less time for them to drop their mask and show you who they really are. Okay, Fallon said it in this interview herself. She really just didn't know who she was married to. All right. And then he began to rapidly reveal more and more of who he, the monster he really is, the cold, callous scammer that he really is by trying to force her to move out of a residence, you know, so he could stop having to pay her rent and things like that so he could move on with Portia. Now, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care who don't like it really. Uh, Portia, you ought to be ashamed of yourself and really nobody cares about how you feel and what you're going through. At least I don't because you get what you get. Karma is a biatch and I believe you deserve every drip drop of it. And it's, it's been said word on the curb is that uh, Portia might be facing some prison time herself because you know, there was some information that was put out there that she knew and she helped cover up a lot of things that were done allegedly by Simon and they are facing new uh, a new lawsuit allegedly where they didn't pay the bill with their uh, private jet company or the, 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 the staff or whoever the company that uh you know, manage their private jet and the flights that they took on their private jet, which explains a lot because if, you know, you can't get a passport to leave the country and travel abroad, uh, you can't fly commercial, okay? And uh, you're still going to have a little problem with that, getting through customs, because you need to prove what type of citizen you are, what, what country you're a citizen of. So, you know, it just, the, the lies keep stacking up. And, you know, when you build a house um, on sand with playing cards, hello, you build, you build a house on sand, your foundation is weak and it's going to crumble. So, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there and, and put my two cents in on Portia williams Gobadier or whatever she's going to be calling herself. Um filing of divorce baby it is is not going to cut it it's not going to cover you and protect you from anything that you were involved in with this man when he committed his 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 scams okay whatever crimes he committed while you were married to him if you have knowledge of it they're going to find that out too if they don't already know okay so <clears throat> I hope everybody is doing well. I came out from underneath my rock just to throw this out there because it was just hot burning on my mind. Why don't y'all listen to and pay attention to what the man has done to the woman before you, the woman he was with before you, the reasons why they split up and the things that happened in the course of the relationship prior to you why don't y'all pay attention to that? Why do you still go ahead first, dive and swan dive over into this dysfunctional, toxic, narcissistic relationship with a pathological liar? Those of us who do have the information provided to us, like Portia, you know, like Cove Law, okay? Why, why, don't, you, why don't you ever listen? Why don't you pay attention? Well, there's a reason why, you know, this woman divorced him. So let me figure out, do I really want to take a chance to see if he'll do the same thing to me? Or do I want to sidestep this demon and move on to someone who is better suited 
for me. A lot of these men rebound, okay? They rebound from one relationship to the next. And they tell the same lies to the different women. And you don't know if they have women in all 50 different states. They move, Some of them move around so fast and they're so good at it because they have a lot of practice doing it. Okay. And we need to understand what questions to ask to properly vet and what lies to look out for to confirm whatever little intuition bells that are ringing in the back of our mind going something ain't just quite right you know stop being afraid to question these niggas and press them and make them tell on themselves you know you 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 don't ever ask questions that you don't already have the answer to number one and number two you never believe everything they say you wait for them to show you who they are and it's easy to get them to expose themselves. So we might come back in the part two and I'll be able to help show you some of the questions that we can ask these niggas who step to us with all these fairy tales and and and, and, and wham whams and zoos and promises of forever and, and all of that to get them to deflate and dissect the gaslighting. You know, because that's what gaslighting is. It's to gas your head up and make you feel intoxicated with so much love and warmth and warm and fuzzy till you are distracted from what he's doing on the other side of that. And that's creating all kinds of fake props, fake narratives, lies, and spider web of confusion to keep you off your game and not paying attention. That's why men call us black women difficult or we talk too much or, you know, we, 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 uh, we, we, we challenging a man, uh, you, you're asking too many questions, you know, something's just not a woman's place. Those are red flags. Okay. Those are red flags. When you get treated like a child and you're an adult woman he doesn't see you as his equal partner. He sees you as a subordinate or a, 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 a charm bracelet on a charm or a medallion around his damn neck. Okay. That's what you look for. You don't overlook those small, subtle things that you go, what? Whatever. This man, Simon, had took taken Fallon out of the photo shoot. Okay. So it would just be a spread just for him. It wasn't about him. It was about them. But he wanted it to be all about him. Okay. Now, any husband worth his salt is like, oh, I'm proud. My wife was invited to do this shoot. And and I'm going to be part of it because, of course, I'm her husband. Duh. And, what, and I'm, I'm going to be there, show up with bells on and show up and show out and show her that I'm proud of her accomplishment to get this first major photo shoot in this magazine and he went because they had an argument before the shoot was published Simon and Fallon had an argument and he went ahead and called the publisher and told them to take her out the shoot and would just publish him now what type of kind of manipulation do you have to know how to do to talk a publisher out of publishing the main character of the shoot take them out of the, the, the spread. Okay. That's another thing. When you accomplish something, ladies, and your man is jealous and he can't celebrate with you and is not as excited about your accomplishments as you are, or even more so excited and proud of you, it's time to let his ass go. Back the fuck up in silence, move around, get situated, and kick his ass right to the curb. Okay. We need to also stop shaming single shaming women who prefer to be single and preserve their peace and mental health and well-being over having somebody in their life that they married to and or stuck with by having children with these niggas and suffering in silence those days are over it's the black ice ages we don't do that no more you know we we ain't letting men drag us by our hair and clubbing us over the head 
and and hunching on us to give us a bunch of babies and we just sit there take care of the children and him and let him roam around the, the the countryside freely while we sit at home resentful angry wasting our wasting away our health and our youth on him his lies and his gaslighting tactics right so that's that on that that's all i really wanted to share for right now we'll see how this goes we'll see how it unfolds y'all please pay attention to the red flags and if you don't know call me ask an elder leave me a comment go to my community wall post something up there and you can always inbox me at empathangie at gmail.com and we the game is to be told and not sold the elders the sage wisdom of the of the of the village the ladies who have been through some shit and don't look like it we need to help and cuff our baby girls and our younger women and hold hands in unity and sisterhood and truly protect one another from these heathens out here running around grifting stealing other people money fronting like they got like they was bosses and 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 just really transient carpet bag and bones all right so i'm out for right now clean common sense take care of yourself have each other's back ladies and and let's give props to those black men who truly are husbands and fathers and looking to be somebody's fiance and court you properly shout out to y'all okay he who finds a wife finds a good thing okay one love and i'm out